Besides, I'd always dreamed of living in New York. All that excitement and culture. Living in the city brings surprises all the time. Once in a while, I even bump into former students of mine from Carver. Oh sure, my apartment's a little smaller than what I was used to back in Omaha, and the rent's pretty darn steep. But it's got a lot of character, and I'm cozy enough. Besides, it's great not needing a car. And I get a lot of reading done on the subway. Some days I even walk to work. The job market is pretty tight in New York. But after hunting around for a while, I finally landed a position in the education department at the Museum of Natural History. That's right, I'm teaching again. The bison or buffalo is when a school brings its students to the museum on a field trip, there's a staff of both volunteer docents and trained educators like myself who pick up where their classwork leaves off. And I've started seeing someone new. Her name is Jillian. She works at the museum too in signs and signage. She's really different from Diane and I don't know, I've just never met anyone quite like her. She just got out of a long relationship too, so we're trying to take it slow. You might ask if I ever saw Tracy Flick again. Well, I did. Just once. <laughs>